a motherfucking diva. Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Alexis Rebecca. And we're back with another video. I don't know how I'm gonna do this video. Oh, it is raining real bad out here, y'all. But anyway, um, I'm doing a maintenance vlog for vacation. Everyone, every girl knows the before vacation prep is is a lot. You gotta get nails, toes, waxes, you gotta go shopping for stuff. So I thought I'd just make a whole video of me getting ready for vacation. I leave on Sunday. So I spread things out throughout the week so it's not like, um, so it's not like I'm panicking right before I leave and I have to like get everything in in one day. So I'm gonna spread it out throughout the week, but I'm taking you guys with me. So today is a chill day. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get my laser, which is a good prep. So you have to like shave the day before you laser and then they go ahead and laser you up so I don't have to worry about shaving like my bikini line, my underarms, um, and I'll just do the rest like my legs at home. So that's what's in store for today. So let's go ahead and head to my appointment in this rain. It's crazy. All right, we're going to test pass, night as always. If you're uncomfortable at any point, let me know. out of the way first. I got some packages here that came to my doorstep so I wanna open them on camera with you guys. I think one is my hair, I'm excited. I got some new hair and I'm gonna get it installed on Friday. I don't know exactly what, I don't know exactly what um, style I'm gonna get yet. Let me open, I think this is the hair. Oh, it's packaged so nice. Let me show you guys. So the hair is from Port Royal Hair. Let's check it out. Oh, got a little note. It's just a thank you card. I love good packaging. So little card, maintenance and things. And then the actual bundles. I love when bundles come in this satin case because I keep this all the time for like a carrying case for hair because I don't want to pull it to my hair appointments with like a freaking Kroger bag or like a Publix bag. <laughs> and then it also comes with, what is this? I'm not sure what this is. I think it's like a hairband for wigs and things. Comes with some clippies. Come on purple, I'm loving the purple. This brush is good for like curls and stuff. It also comes with, you know, I love to do my edges, a little edge brush, so that's cute. Okay, 10 out of 10 for packaging. So I got curly hair this time around. This is Burmese curly. Of course, I'm gonna link everything below for you guys because I already know this hair is bomb. But let me take it out the package for you guys. I haven't had curly hair in so long, guys. I usually just go with like body wave or straight. Ooh, first of all, oh my God, first of all, it smells good. I've had hair that like sometimes smells a little weird because of maybe the chemicals and stuff they put in it. This hair actually smells so good. It's raw hair. Oh my God, it feels so soft. Oh, it just made me excited. Oh, honey. Woo! <laughs> Something about new bundles that just sends me over the top, y'all. And this business is black owned. So I love that. Okay, so hi friends, change of plans. This is no longer gonna be a vacation prep video because we ain't going on vacation. We were supposed to leave for a cruise this Sunday, but when I went to go book it, uh, it was sold out. Yeah, so we can't go again for another few weeks. We'll go in June. So I guess I'll pick up the vacation prep vlog then. 
but we're just going to continue this vlog as a regular vlog so i'm still i'm actually outside of my girl's hair shop i'm about to get my hair done i was going to cancel my hair appointment but i was like no like why let's still get your hair done so and i'm excited to try out these bundles so i'm gonna get my hair done and then take y'all with me for the rest of the weekend i don't know what we get into when do i ever but i'm excited to get this wig done girl oh we are so cute you know we love a good half up half down my girl tanji did it again this hair is so nice so i came home because it's naturally like a bigger hair so i came home and just like sprayed it with water put some conditioner in it and we have these pretty pretty curls here oh it's raw hair so it's really nice and full and for reference uh, everything's gonna be down below but for reference i got 24 inches i think i have 22 to 24 so it comes down i'm 5'3 so it comes like right here but it's really nice hair i love it i'm glad i so decided to go ahead and get my hair done because we all feel better when our hair is freshly done okay so we're cute check her out my girl tanji who installed and um port royal hair because this hair is really bomb okay y'all so i ate some lunch and now we're gonna head to target real quick i'm staying in for the evening and i have a whole list of things that i need to get from target so we're gonna make a quick run is target ever really a quick run no <laughs> really and i really didn't need shit from target i just like i just got bored and i wanted to go do I really need an explanation? So let's go. Monday so we're gonna start fresh happy Monday guys hopefully this vlog will be up for you guys later this week I haven't really vlogged shit yet so um but today we are gonna start remember in the last vlog I was talking about how I need to start counting calories so I'm gonna do that with you guys today along with some other stuff but I'm about to eat my first meal it's two o'clock I usually like I said I usually skip breakfast usually um and eat just like lunch and dinner. So I'm trying to do a calorie deficit. For a calorie deficit, you have to find your TDE, which is how many calories you burn per day, and then you just take calories off of that number. So I put my stuff in the calculator and it says I need 2,600 calories a day to maintain. That seems like a lot of calories, but it factors in um, your exercise level. So the fact that I go like three to four times a week to the gym, so we're gonna shoot for 1800 calories. Ooh, am I getting a package? So yesterday we went out and we went to Kebabland and got like a salmon and rice plate. It's kind of hard to count calories when you're not making the food because you don't know what kind of butters and oils and stuff they're using. So I'm just going to, I have leftovers, so I'm gonna eat that. You see my salmon and rice. Um, I'm just gonna eat that for lunch. Oh, I have a scale. I've been had a scale, I just don't use it because I wasn't doing all that. So I'm gonna weigh the salmon, see how many ounces it is, and then Google how many calories is in that ounce of salmon. So let me zero out the scale. 4.43 ounces of salmon. Okay, so it says it's 266 calories and 4.5 ounces of salmon. And I'm just doing this with y'all today because this is like a lot of work. <laughs> So, okay, I'm gonna open up my fitness pal and I'm still new to this app, so, oh, I could just do it in here. So I'm gonna search salmon, salmon filet. Okay, so they have one that is 270 calories and that's perfect. So that's gonna be lunch. 
so that the food is now logged. And then I don't know how much rice is here. I'm gonna have to put it in a cup. Now this is literally two thirds cup of rice that was left. So let's just put that in here. Okay, the salmon on top. So let's look at white rice. White rice. Cooked. Serving size, one cup. No, it's two thirds cup. There's no option for two thirds cup. Literally, what, I, what do I do now? Like, what the fuck do I do now? I'm should I just put one cup on there? Just say fuck it and put one cup. But I'm not eating one cup, so that's really annoying, but I'm just gonna, whatever, that'll make up for whatever butter and oil they put in here. Okay, so this is approximately 475 calories, and I have 1,325 remaining. Give or take, because I'm about to put this sauce on here, this spicy sauce, and like this like little garlic. <laughs> it's good, you need it with kawabli. So, okay, we're gonna do that for my snacks that I eat today and also dinner to see what the vibes is. Okay, that was easy, cool. So I just ate my lunch, but now I have to make Teddy's lunch. He's sick, y'all. So, yeah, he's been having like, you know, the runs for the past five days and he has been throwing up. I feel like he went outside and behind my back, he ate something that he was not supposed to. Vonte caught him the other day drinking the water out of the toilet as well. He just gets into a lot of stuff. So it can be literally anything that's making him sick. So now I have to make him a bland diet. That's what the vet recommended for the next few days. So he's gonna be having turkey meat and white rice chicken broth that pour the chicken broth over it actually sounds like a pretty good meal to me i mean if i was a dog i would be happy with some actual meat other than what i usually feed him just his like his pebble food kibble what do they call it i don't know y'all know what i feed him this is his lunch you see like the broth i don't know this is literally something i would eat like if i was him i would be happier to get this aren't you happy to get this teddy hopefully you like it Well, I don't know, he's gritty. He literally likes anything, so that's why he's in this predicament, because he eats it, everything. Okay, y'all, so I'm- It's a parade inside my city, yeah. I'm so annoying. <laughs> we just watched, I wanted the Lakers to make it to the championships, okay? We just got finished watching basketball in the bum-ass Denver Nuggets game. I didn't bet him just for that. I ain't bet him. Betting him. One thing I don't do, because I don't pay my bets, so I don't be betting him. Anyway, can I talk to him about what I really want to talk to him about? This is why I don't be, this is why he's not allowed to be around. Anyway, y'all, so I was supposed to be counting my calories for y'all today. So we just had dinner, and this is what my plate looked like. We had jerk honey wings. Um, I had a half of a baked potato and some broccoli. So let me go ahead and log it. But that's the only thing. I didn't eat anything but what y'all see me eat earlier. I just don't be like snacking a lot. I told y'all I don't be snacking a lot. So, chicken wings baked 99 calories for one piece of fucking wing. That don't even sound right. I'm about to Google it. Ain't no way there's 99 calories in one. I'm sorry to tell you, but you ate a lot of calories with the jerk with the sauce. I'ma be quiet. I'm about to add all you need to really be quiet. Be quiet with the jerk with the sauce. I'm adding all the sauce in the calories. Be quiet. Yeah. Shut up. Dang calories and I'm gonna add all that in there. Okay. There's 43 calories. I don't know. My fitness pal, I don't know. But there's 43 times five. So that's about 215 calories. So how do I just add that in there? I'll just do this. 
And then like three servings of this. Okay, that's about right. Okay, so I had a cup and a half of broccoli, so I'll just put two cups of broccoli. We'll add that. And then I had a half of a baked potato. But I'll just put a medium baked potato because it was like a big baked potato. Baked potato. Yeah, I'll just medium baked potato. Okay, so we have all the main stuff in there. Where it gets hard is adding all the sauces because it was jerks. So it was jerk honey. So the sauce itself was unhealthy. I'm not going to hold you. It was ketchup. It was honey in there. It was sugar. It was um, in jerk sauce. I don't even know how to add all those calories in there because I was not measuring. So honestly, I'm just going to tack on like an extra 200 calories to my meal because that's what I feel like it was. And then I had one tablespoon of butter in my baked potato. So I'm going to add butter. Because you can't forget all these calories. Like this is where it gets tricky. It's 100 calories and one tablespoon of butter. And it wasn't unsalted butter. Butter salted, 31. I don't need one teaspoon. No, 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 I need one teaspoon. Bacon bits. I'm not really counting bacon bits. Because how do you even count bacon bits? Maybe a slice of bacon. I'll put a slice of bacon. Turkey bacon. One slice. Okay. All right, so let's see how many calories I ate for the day. I think that was, oh, then I had my poppy. I feel like I'm gonna get better at using this app. It's just like a lot right now. Raspberry. Period, raspberry rosé. Okay, so total calories, 1270. But I, like I said, I'm going to add like 200 calories to that because I feel like that sauce was like... So 1470 remaining would be 337 for the day. Babe, do you want to start counting your calories? Never. Yeah. Hey, y'all. Next day here. Vontae's spending the whole day with me. Super excited. We're about to go to the hardware store. I'll let y'all know exactly what I'm trying to get into. DIY. I'm excited for this. Anytime he gets packages, I want to open his packages. And today he actually let me. Usually he tells me no, but he said yes. And he got three big packages. So I'm gonna open them and I'm sharing them with y'all. So he got a whole bunch of stuff from Adidas. Um, I wish I got some stuff from Adidas. And he, so, I'm not even, because he does sometimes get me stuff from Adidas. But they just like him for whatever reason. Must be nice to have a rep at Adidas. He got this nice pair of shoes. These would look nice in a size seven. I hope it's some hoodies, because if it's hoodies, you know I don't wear them. It's summertime, I don't know if it's in some hoodies. Oh, something's pink in here. Three strike lights. Oh, this is, um, it looks like a soccer jersey. Why would they give you, this would look nice on your skin tone though. They really hooked you up. These look like they're shorts. Good shorts for summer. Can I open them all the way up? Just don't destroy the bag. Don't destroy it. Open it up like neatly type shit. Neatly is crazy. You know I'm a rip I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Oh, these are nice bird shorts. I need a Good shorts. We got some vacations coming up. Some pants like that. Oh, those are hard. Yeah, those are hard. I like these. Bro, they got you mad shit. I'm not going through all this. Like, I, I it's actually you, too much. You box, so I did want to unbox, but that's too much. Oh, this looks cute. This is like a baseball jersey. Going in for next year. Oh, stripes. I don't know. You know, I don't yeah, never see these stripes. Sports wear. Wear that to the, the gym. Yeah, to the gym. More shoes. They love on a sneaky pair of kicks in there. They crack me up when they do that. 
Let me see. I feel like you have a pair like this already. Yeah, somewhere around. So I'm gonna give some stuff away. What size is that? Yeah, you should give these away. More shorts. You don't have to go Those shopping in some of these are real nice. Gray though. Yeah, good gray. Gray shorts. shorts. Gray shorts and no shirt. <laughs> oh, you trying to get sexy this summer. More than stripe. I think they sent you some striped pants. <laughs> and three pairs of shoes. Another pair. Originals. Shell toe. Shell toes. Good show. 13. Those look small. Ten. I don't know if you're gonna like these. These are some white boy shoes. Red shits. Still those on. I don't like those. You gonna vacate somewhere? Anyway. Let's see your shoes real quick. Hope y'all enjoyed Vontae's Adidas unboxing. We got way too much shit. So the project that we're tackling today, y'all, is making my own nightstands. So I seen, y'all know where I already seen it at, but I'm gonna put the video in here. And she did it. I'm gonna tag her below, I'm gonna tag her video because she inspired me to go to Floor and Decor. We have one about 15 minutes from here. Hopefully I can find the same um, materials that she used. All she did was got some caulking, a gun, slap that bitch together on she, she can sell them on like etsy for like 300 dollars. i would pay 300 dollars for it and i was like oh my god this is so smart because you know how furniture be like on back order for like a month month and a half i don't have no patience for that none zero zilch so i'm gonna do it i'm gonna go get the stuff get the caulking get the caulking gun bring my camera along you guys are gonna watch the whole process and then um we're gonna see if we can put these nightstands together i feel like it'll be a great experience I feel like it'll be fun um i don't know if i want to paint them or keep them that color um but i'm excited i'm definitely excited you guys know anytime i get in my diy bag um it's always exciting okay let's go we're going to the store found the supplies i wish they were a little bit bigger but it'll be okay it'll all work Uh, yeah, hold on, let me see what I need. We can check out back there, over there, put it on back. Okay, thank you. Teddy. Teddy. So very on brand for me to break the fucking tile. Um, I'm just clumsy. So my boyfriend brought them in and I was moving them around, accidentally dropped it and it cracked. So I'm only gonna be able to do one nightstand tonight and I knew I should've just got an extra one. Can you excuse me, Teddy, please? Like rookie mistake to not just grab an extra one because it's tile and it can break. So this shouldn't take long at all. Like it should take a few minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and slap it together. After further uh, consideration or whatever, I was looking at the girl, the original girl's video and I got the wrong pieces. She got two big pieces and one small piece for the top. And I got three pieces that are all the same size. But I went on Pinterest and I found a, I'm gonna do a similar shape to hers, but it's not gonna be just like hers because I got three of the same. So let me stop talking and go ahead and slap the first nightstand together. I'm so sad I cracked that just now, but I mean, it wouldn't be me if I didn't break anything. <laughs> like, it wouldn't be me. I'm trying to figure out how to load this caulking gun. I think I have it in there right. Why is no cup coming out? Okay, so I've never used one of these.
And I also opted for a cheap ass caulking gun. There was one that was $3 and there was one that was $15. And I was like, oh, let me go ahead and get the $3 one. No, and damn well, there's a reason that this one was $3 and the other one was that price because I feel like I played myself. Cause it's bending, oh, it's bending, it's so cheap. Oh my God. Yo, what is up? This is not even coming out. What a joke, like, this is not coming out. Okay, at this point, the entire fucking gun is bent. Uh, it's looking like I'm gonna have to run. Oh, it's have this Home Depot for <laughs> No, I wanted to do this tonight. Everything is falling apart. I was so excited to do this tonight. What time is it close? Oh, that goes to 11. Oh, I'm about to have to go get a new caulking gun, y'all. Okay, so I ended up getting a new gun. So I was filming all this, and I don't know why my memory card is just not saving things, but I'm gonna try again, because y'all missed this whole process. But I got a new gun. This gun would have been fine the whole time. I didn't realize that you had to take the nozzle off and cut it. It was sealed underneath the nozzle. But I would have knew that if I would have read. You know, reading is fundamental. <laughs> but anyway, we got the gun to work and I put the first two pieces together. They're drying now. Yeah, I feel like it's halfway dry. I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna put that piece, I think I'm gonna put those pieces together and let this dry for a second. Okay, I let this dry for yeah, this is pretty dry. So I'm gonna try to stand it upright. Um, should I try to stand it upright? I'm gonna try to stand it upright. <laughs> Teddy, you being there is making me nervous, all right? I need you to like go play with your bones. Okay. on so okay looks good you good up there yes you gonna need my help when you cutting yourself for this shit is sharp no fine This is the finished product. I love, like, you guys might not see the vision now, but I see because I'm gonna put like a big gold vase on it and I'm gonna have the floral arrangement that matches my bedroom scheme. And I just love this. I was thinking of painting it, but I don't think I actually wanna paint it. I think, I think the stone is gonna go well. It's gonna be incorporated with all the other colors in my bedroom, like the pink, the blues, powder pink, gray. It's gonna look nice. Like, it's gonna look nice. And I went ahead and put the other table together as much as I could without that missing piece in the back. So yeah, it was a like success. And everything here you see was only $70. Like the six pieces of material plus the caulking and the caulking gun were only $70. That's why I'm not tripping. Like I just, it's inconvenient to have to go all the way back and get another piece, but it's not like it was expensive, so. Yeah. What up y'all, it's the next day. So I'm headed to go get that piece for the table, but I also want to, I feel like I have not gone shopping in forever. Like I have not gone shopping. I have not been to Zara in forever. So I'm gonna stop by and see what I can see. It'd be a hit or miss sometimes. It's either like there's so many cute clothes or there's absolutely nothing. And it's like, what the hell happened here? So hopefully, Hopefully we can find some cute stuff for summer, some new summer pieces, um, some new dresses, some cute pants, just to keep me cool this summer, y'all, because I feel like it's going to be a hot one. It's going to be a hot one! Hot Lana! Okay, so I did find some stuff, guys. Some pants, a few sets, dress, 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 dress. I'm gonna try this stuff on and I'm gonna show y'all everything that looks cute. Right. Well, maybe I'll just show y'all everything. Let's see. Okay, this one's cute, but it's very much see through. I have a bodysuit under it. So it's giving like pool cover up. I like the material though, it's cute. 
Definitely pool cover-up vibes. I don't know if I need another cover-up. I have a million. Now this is cute being that I'm going on a cruise in a few weeks. It's giving very much nautical vibes. Come on, the red and navy. And it has this cute little collar. And then it has the little back out. Okay, this one might be coming home with me just because it's perfect for a cruise. Some little accessories, a hat. I like this one. Okay, she's a cute little summer dress here. I like the colors, like blue, red. It almost looks like clouds. I actually like it. Simple, cute. I can see me getting a lot of wears out of this. I don't know, but do I need this? Like, I don't know. I don't know, this actually, it gives Easter with the pastels, it's cute, but I actually have a wedding to go to and she wants her guests to wear light and airy colors. Well, this is really cute, like it's a two piece, it's a top and a skirt. I don't know if I love it, these Easter colors, like it's giving me, I don't know, it's pretty, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one. Very flowy, light, airy for sure. Cute. I don't know, I actually really like these pants. Only thing is, I would have to get them taken in. And they were such a struggle to get on from the beginning. I feel like if I get them taken in at the waist, it'll be impossible to get them over my hippies. But I actually really like these. Cute little cargos. For the summertime with a little tank top, sunglasses, bag, very cute. But I think I'm gonna have to leave them here. I don't know what it is, I really like these. Like these long shirt dresses with a pair of sneakers and a hat. Cause I'm super lazy when it comes to dressing y'all. I will wear this every fucking day. And it comes in another color, this black color. I'm getting it. A little slit action, oof. So I ended up getting that dress, the striped sailor dress because I feel like it's perfect for a cruise. Come on, like it's a crew, like it's definitely made for a cruise. Now I'm be trying to like convince myself. <laughs> I like it and then I got the t-shirt dresses because I can wear them every day. I'm all for like everyday clothing. But I wasn't in love with this stuff. I swear when you go on like Instagram reels and TikToks, you'll see all the girls doing Zara hauls and they be having the cutest stuff. But every time I go on Zara, I'm like, where's all, where's all the stuff at? I don't know if they're shopping online. No, but a lot of them be in store too, girl. I don't know, maybe just these Atlanta Zaras don't hit like these out of state ones. Like I seen, there's a girl in Miami who always finds the best stuff, Vegas. Um, yeah, but maybe it's just these Atlanta Zaras that suck. Okay, now we have two perfectly symmetrical nightstands. I love them. This one's completely dry. Um, it's definitely heavy duty, y'all. Like, shit is he heavy. I cannot believe this whole thing was only $30. $30, $30. Girl, they look like from the side. So cute. I've been getting a lot of packages, and if this is what I think it is, I'm excited. Okay, yeah, so Max Aroma sent me over a ton of samples. Um, I'm gonna link their website below. They sent me a bunch of samples so I can try out, and then I'm gonna pick my favorite, and then I'm going to recommend it. Whoa, I feel like they sent over a lot. I have a lot of perfumes to go through because it's summertime. I need some new scents. I haven't bought a new scent in a long time. I actually have two on the way that I'm super excited to try. I bought, what is it called? Blind buying when it comes to perfumes. I blind bought them because I heard good things about both. So hopefully they'll be here by next vlog and I can share with you guys. And then I can choose another few scents after I smell all of these. Paris. 
Is this a full size scent? <gasps> this is like, this is what they sent me. So each one has like a ton of samples. So I have to go through all of these and figure out which ones I absolutely love. I'm gonna be here for hours. More, <laughs> there's so many. My nose is going to fall off. Hopefully like in a good way. So when I pick which one I like and they ended up sending me the full size, maybe next vlog I'm gonna have some perfume recommendations for the summertime. As you know, pretty girls love to smell good, period. Literally, all I did today was just edit this vlog for you guys because I want to have it up for y'all tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here. There will be another one this month, next week. Because I feel like this one was boring. Like it was literally just me being. There was nothing to it. I want to actually go. Well, this weekend Memorial Day. But I don't want to be out partying and stuff. Like I don't care about that. I want to go. A few of you guys recommended a strawberry patch because I was complaining in my last vlog about how I have not gotten any good strawberries. Y'all brought up the fact that I can go to a strawberry patch and pick my own fresh strawberries. When I looked it up, it's like an hour. It's like an hour. There's one an hour for me and one an hour and a half for me. So maybe this weekend I'll take a drive out to a strawberry patch and then make a fresh recipe with my fresh strawberries. <laughs> it's a little thing that made me happy. So maybe I'll do that. Some other stuff in the next vlog. Um, we'll be traveling in June. Back to back to back. So yeah, June's going to be a busy, a busy month for me. I got a lot going on. So stay tuned. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I linked a lot of stuff below. I linked the hair, the girl who did my hair. I linked the TDEE calculator. So if you're interested in counting your calories, you can see um, your maintenance calories. I know y'all probably have questions about that. Um, and yeah, I love you guys. I want to go ahead and finish this vlog. And I'll catch y'all on my next one. Toodles.